today's video, we're talking about the keyboard shortcut you've probably never seen before. Uh, but before we hop into that, I want to talk about something we've got upcoming here, and that's our Mastercam teacher training. So as you can see, we've got dates in April, May, and June, and we have some others coming up in the summer as well. So if you're a teacher and you're interested, you can check this out on our website, caminstructor.com forward slash Mastercam teacher training. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, but with that, let's hop into this video and see about this keyboard shortcut you've never heard about before. So today we're going to go through a quick little tip in Mastercam and that is snapping to views. Now snap to views is turned off by default. But we can go into our configuration using the Alt F8 key and down in the screen section, we need to expand and come down into view. And by default, this will be turned off. Snap to views in dynamic rotation. So let's go ahead and turn this on and have a look and see what it is that this does. So I'm gonna get close to my top view here by using my middle mouse wheel. And you'll see that once I get kind of close to the correct view, it snaps normal to that face on its own. So same thing, I'll start skewing towards the front, and again, once I'm close, it's going to automatically snap to that front face. Now how close you need to be is controlled back in the configuration settings. So down here we've got a value for 25 in the snap tolerance. All three axes must be within 25 degrees in order to snap to that plane. So if you were to spin this thing around 180, uh, you're going to see that it's not going to snap to bottom this bottom face anymore. So we need to make sure that we are close to the actual plane. And if I select on bottom, uh, you can see the orientation of, of X and Y. So that's the orientation I'm referring to. So that X and Y needs to match basically the view that you're looking at. As useful as you might think this, this would be, this snap to view, it can get a little annoying, especially if you're trying to zoom in and just get a little peek at the inside of something. You can see that right now I can't get a peek inside of this, this face here, inside of the P, uh, it keeps snapping back to top. So most people will always leave this setting turned off because of the inability to slightly skew and zoom in and look at a face. But there is a way that we can still use this snap to face feature without having to actually turn it on in the config setting. Now all we have to do to take advantage of this snap to view without turning it on in configuration is simply use the S key. So I'm going to get close to my top face. I'm going to hold down my S key and once I get close enough, you're going to see it's going to snap to that face on its own. So it doesn't work by just clicking S. S won't make it snap, but you need to hold down S and start rotating your part and once it's close, it will snap to that view. Again, this will work if you're using your mouse to rotate. This will work if you're using a 3D mouse to rotate. Just hold down your S key and as long as you're close to that plane, it will snap. So that's basically the use of it with all of our standard planes. What about custom planes? Can I make this work on my own plane, not just you know the, the default top, front, back, bottom, etc. So on this other part, I have a custom face down on this corner here. It's 45 on this corner. So obviously right now there's no plane here in our planes. We don't have a plane associated to with this. So no matter how much I want this to snap to that view or to this face, it will not snap because there's no graphic view plane there to snap to. So we need to make a plane here. So let's go ahead and create a plane, place it on this bottom corner. We'll swing this around 180. And you can see Z is normal to this face. And let's call this face custom. Okay, so now we've got a custom plane here, relative or normal to this face. If I hold down S as I get close to that, it will snap as you saw it just snap there. Okay, so again, I'll hold down S and there it snaps. But again, I can't snap to it with uh, the X flipped 180. So no matter how much I try, I got my S held down here, I cannot snap to this view. If you want to be able to snap to any plane orientation on this face, you would need to duplicate this existing plane. So let's duplicate it and then rotate this. Uh, let's say 
positive 90. Okay, so now we'll be able to snap to this view, which would be in this orientation. So I'll hold down S, start rotating, and there it snaps to that view. So if you wanted to, you could create this in each of the four quadrants, and then you could snap to this face in any one of those four orientations. Let's look at another scenario of a part here. So let me just go and turn on this, this next part. So here we've got a face that's been kind of sliced off the corner over here. So how can I just, I just want to be able to snap to this face quickly. I don't want to go through a complex set of making planes and orienting them and all this fun stuff. Uh, how can we do that quickly? So over on my planes tab, you'll notice in the pull down, there's an option here for quick C plane. Uh, again, in our right click menu, we've got that same option over here, quick C plane. So even if I'm on a different tab over here, I can just right click and select quick C plane, the same function in the planes tab. And once there, uh, we're um, prompted to select a flat solid face. So here I can just grab this face right here. And in my planes manager, notice I got a quick C plane. So I can use this as a G view now. I can use this as a graphical view plane. So I could snap to that plane as long as I get close to the orientation of the plane that Mastercam created for me. So as long as I get that X going the same way, I can snap normal to this custom face uh, rather quickly. So that wraps up our snap to planes kind of overview there, the ways that you can turn it on and have it on all the time. Or if you just want to use it from time to time to get normal to a face, you can hold down that S key and it'll snap right to that plane.